Hello everyone. I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. Welcome to Simply Code YouTube channel. And in today's session, we'll understand how to implement stacks using arrays. Now, a stack is a linear data structure in which the insertion and deletion operations are performed at only one end. In a stack, adding and removing of elements are performed at a single position, which is known as top. That means a new element is added at top of the stack, and an element is removed from the top of the stack as well. So a stack is a data structure which allows operation on a collection of elements which is based on the last in first out principle. So in this tutorial we will understand how to uh, perform this operation using a certain data structure which is arrays. Now we will not get into detail of what stack is. We have a dedicated video on what stack is, its various operation and it is its basic uh, implementation. So you can check that out on our channel. We will leave the link in the description below. In today's session, we will understand what a stack is in general and how it can be implemented using arrays. So without any further ado, let's get started. But before we begin, if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed already, consider getting subscribed to our channel Simply Code to stay updated with all the latest tech content and hit that bell icon to never miss an update from us. Let us now directly jump into Visual Studio Code for implementation. So as you can see Visual Studio Code has started. Now you can implement stacks using uh, various data structures like uh, arrays, pointers, linked list, etc. But in this tutorial since we are learning how to implement stacks uh, using arrays, we will understand how it can be implemented using arrays. So I am just writing a comment which says implement stacks using arrays. Now a stack can be implemented using arrays by uh, using a fixed size array to store the elements of the stack and then keeping track of the index of the top of the stack. So let's uh, follow the code and uh, see how it is implemented. So firstly we have to create an array with a fixed size to represent the stack. So the code for that would be mention the uh, header files which is hash include io stream using namespace std. And then we have to define a uh, a stack, I mean array size, right? So for that, I'm basically using a class here. So I'm taking class stack and inside that I'm creating a private function, private member function, sorry. Uh, and I'm defining the array here. So in the array name is arr array and mention the size. So let's take the size as 1000. It can be of any size depending on the number of uh, operations or variables that you are taking, uh, assign it accordingly. And then we have to mention the int top. All right. Next, we have to see whether the uh, stack is empty or not. So for that, we will write uh, another code here inside the class only where we will give a public function and give it, we are calling the stack. Uh, function which you have taken here member so inside that I am assigning top to minus one now you might get a question why we are assigning top to minus one here so the top of the stack is represented by an index that basically points to the last element inserted in the stack so initially the top of the stack is set to minus one here indicating that the stack is empty so when an event is pushed onto the stack, it is inserted at the top of the stack by incrementing the top index by 1. So let us see how it is uh, done. So let us now take another function here which is void and since we want to insert element, I am just taking a function name push and I am taking a parameter integer. I am trying to pass an element uh, of variable x. So inside that, I have to write a condition here. So basically we are checking if the uh, stack is empty or not. So if a stack is greater than the maximum size, then we say it is stack overflow. And similarly, if the top value is less than zero, we say it is underflow. And if top is equal to zero, we say stack is empty. So that is what we have to run here. So to check if the stack is full, we basically check the top of the index variable is equals to the size of the array minus one. So that is what I'm going to write here. That is if top is greater than equals to uh, the size that we have taken thousand minus one. Okay. And uh, 
we basically retrieve the value saying C out saying it is an error. That is stack is overflow. Stack is overflow and we will end the line. Then we will return the value. All right. And then we will increment the value to we will initiate array and we will increment this value to top. So top plus um, plus plus top equals to x. So I hope you've cleared uh, till this line here. So we have inserted an element. So when an element is popped from the stack instead of pushed, it is removed from the top of the stack by decrementing the top index. So for that we have to write the pop uh, for the code for pop as well. So I am taking another uh, variable of int saying int pop wherein if top is less than 0 then we will consider it as underflow. Alright. So it will throw an error saying stack is underflow. All right, and we basically end this line and return minus one. Uh, now I know it is a bit of confusing, guys. So let's just implement this, uh, and I will again I'll explain at the end what is the uh, concept that is being lying and why we are taking uh, this here. So let's just move ahead and let us write int x is equals to array of top. Alright, and then I'm returning the value. Return x. Alright. Now you can also implement peak function as well. Uh, peak basically inserts uh, the top of the element without removing it. So for that also you can uh, implement. So I'm just taking another uh, value int peak. So for peak, what I'm saying is if top is less than 0 okay we will say the stack is empty so mention that c out stack is empty so we will close this and in line you can keep it and we will return minus 1 And similarly, we will assign the value to the uh, array, which is int x equals to array of top. Right. And return x. Finally, we are returning the value. And similarly, we are also checking uh, whether the stack is empty or not. So for that, I am taking a bool expression, which is we use is empty method in order to check whether the stack is empty or not. So return top if it is less than 0 all right so this is basically the code for uh, pushing popping and the peak uh, operations in stack so now all we are left uh, with is by is to call the main function so i'm just taking a main function here and i'm trying to insert values i am taking a uh, stack s so for push s dot push is the method i'm inserting one and similarly s dot push 2 similarly s dot push 3 all right so i think we are good to go and you have to retrieve values right so c out i am using s dot pop function face popped from stack okay so the values that we are trying to remove from the stack will be shown here. So next, see out for, uh, we have to also find the top element. If you want to find the top element, for the, you can use that also. So I'm just taking see out uh, top element is, and I'm calling uh, the value that we have taken, which is s.peak. 
can hit the line or you can name it as such and finally we will return zero all right so this is basically the code to how to implement stack guys so let us just execute this and we'll see the output so click on run and it will take some time to finalize the output so let's so as you can see in the output it says three is popped from the stack and the top element is two now we have inserted uh three elements here one two three so the order of stack will be uh three two one being the three being the top of the stack now we are popping the uh, the element three from the top of the stack so it becomes only one and two now the top element becomes two now to just uh summarize what we have done here this implementation of stack using an array is done uh, by creating an array to store the stack elements where the top variable keeps track of the index of the top element of the stack here so if you take here here int top is basically keeping track of the index of top element of the stack now next we have created a push function here push function inserts an element at the top of the stack and similarly we have a pop function removes and returns the top element of the stack and similarly we have also created a peak function which will return the top element of the stack without removing it and we have also taken is empty which will check basically if the stack is empty or not so I hope you understood uh, using how to implement stacks using an array. To the end of today's session guys, I hope you have covered pretty much all about stacks, how to implement them using arrays and linked list. Thank you for watching the video guys. If you found this tutorial informative and helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you have any further queries regarding any of the topics covered in today's session, feel free to let us know in the comment section below and a team of experts will be more than happy to help resolve all your queries at the earliest. Stay tuned to the channel for more such amazing content. Until next time, thank you and keep coding.